Hello and welcome to PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and this video is going to be working with the Math Learning Center app, the GeoBoards and doing GeoBoards and then the uh, how they can be used to to help discover certain area uh, and perimeter formulas if you will. And we're going to just talk about in general the area formula for rectangles and then we're going to talk about the area formula for triangles and we're going to leave it at that on this video but you can do um, other area models uh, you can do trapezoid um, you can uh, can't really do cylinders and things like that but uh, we're going to do area of rectangle um, and then we're going to do area of a triangle just real general how this geoboard app can help model that or help build those concepts uh, it all starts with a square unit it starts with uh, we have this area is based off of square units and a square unit is by definition the unit that measures area and it's because of the two dimensions that that space is defined as it's defined as a um, kind of a horizontal measurement and a vertical measurement and when you take that horizontal measurement and you multiply it by the vertical measurement you have the area inside of it and it's just a it's a rectangular array uh, early on when you're learning about multiplication you create rectangular arrays or you create rectangles and those rectangles can be broken down into rows and in columns and when you count the number of rows and they count the number of columns you can see the, the multiplication that is uh, you have three rows times two columns gives you one two three four five six uh, squares inside of it so therefore the square unit itself can be found by how many of length one unit are on the column I'm sorry in the rows and then how many are of one unit how many one unit lengths are there in the other dimension which is the width so I should have said length by width and length being the longest side and in this case the length would be three and the width would be two well if I extended this a little bit farther and I took this and I created a greater length length of four but a width still of two then it's four times two which is one two three four five six seven eight um, so this helps model uh, the idea behind areas of rectangles because rectangles are made up of four sides and they have 90 degree corners uh, right corners or square corners and by defining that we see that you can use your column and row or row and column type of explanation rectangular array to help show that the area of that rectangle is in essence the multiplication of its length times its width and because multiplication is commutative you could do width times length or we could have a rectangle that is of this shape here and then I'll see if I can move these guys over a little bit I'll wave my hands to see that you can break this all down and see that we have a length of four here and a width of two but is in a different arrangement so the number of rows is two and the length or the number of columns is four so two times four is the same thing as four times two so that's rectangles and the area model I'm sorry the area formula for rectangles is length times width so you take the longest side multiply it times the shortest side therefore you get the area of that rectangle uh, but what about a triangle? What about a triangle and how do we find the area of a triangle? Well, areas of triangles are all based off of the area of your rectangle. If I have a rectangle here that is of area 3 and I want to find the area of this triangle. And I want to find the area of this triangle here. I notice that that, air, that triangle is one half the area of the outer rectangle. And if the outer rectangle is an area three, because there's three square units here, then the triangle is going to be half that or one half. It's one and one half or one half the area of the rectangle. Well, the area of the rectangle is length times width. Now that length could be defined as the base. So we have base times width 
as our area of the rectangle divided by 2 gives us the area of the triangle. Or we all know the formula for area is 1 half base times height. Well, the width could be redefined as height. The length can be redefined as base. So we have 1 half base times height. Now I'm saying all of this can be redefined, can be redefined. One thing that you can do in your uh, teaching of mathematics is getting to, we do rectangles and we understand rectangles, but rectangles are connected to these things, which we oftentimes discuss as being, not discussed, are parallelograms. And the definition of the area of the parallelogram is base times height. But if your students are younger and we're not quite ready for parallelograms, which I'm not quite sure there is an exact age that they are ready for it. Um, you deal with a rectangle and the fact that a rectangle has a base and a height. And so we have half of that base times height is going to give us the area of the triangle inside. Now, this is one way that you can go about modeling with your geoboards. You can just go through the process and show them. You can model, demonstrate for them, and then they replicate and practice what it is that you've shown them. But you can also go through an exploration phase to where you let the students discover that definition. To where they do these areas of rectangles and they say, you ask them, what's the area of that? And they say two, what's the area of this? They say three, what's the area of this? They say four. And that is great, that is wonderful. But what happens when you go in and you change it and you say, well, what is the area of this? What is the area, let's say, of this triangle right here? Well, one thing is they're going to say it equals 1. Why does it equal 1? Because they're going to chop off this top part, they're going to rotate it down, and it's going to fit into that one square unit. Well, in that case, they're going to be accurate, and the area is going to be 1. But then you give them this triangle right here, the one that we just explored or talked about, and that area, they can't just chop off a piece and then fit it in there and then guess. A lot of students will guess, well, it's, it's three quarters or one and three quarters or it is going to be one and a half or they start guessing. And they need to understand that it's built off the concept of finding the area of this outer rectangle first and then taking half of that area to find the area of the red triangle inside and it's connecting it to the formula of a triangle, which is one-half base times height. Uh, so these are important explorations that students should explore using GeoBoards, and you can use the iPad to help um, demonstrate, to help ex guide them towards the understanding and the uh, uh, discovery of these formulas that we utilize so often in our mathematics classrooms. So I thank you for watching. I am Professor Lamb, and this is PyPad Mathematics.